Hello viewers, CBGT here. It's time for the Project Cars 3 multiplayer experience. Let's see what this game has in store for us online, other than eternal loading into lobbies. Empty ones. Okay, here we go then. First ever race on Project Cars 3 multiplayer. Let's see how it goes. But just before we kick this one off, uh, in case you're having trouble with the graphics, I'll just let you know that the pixels on the screen uh, um, well, that car there, that's me. Th those pixels there, that's me. Just in case you're having trouble telling which one. Okay, into the first corner, and boom, we've been here already. Straight off the track, this Porsche taking zero prisoners around Donington Park. Okay, so we have Bad Melon Farmer in front of us here. And, uh, well, judging by the speed he's taken there, he's also a bad racing driver. Oh, get okay, right. And uh, this guy, the Porsche guy, going really slow. So we get past those two immediately. And then it's our job to catch up with uh, Mr. Ruben Station 4, who's gone for the Aston Martin. I don't think either of us know which track we're driving in. Are we turning left or are we turning right? We're turning left. And uh, he's taken kind of a midline there. Play it safe. And uh, we go through the chicane, this mental helicopter driver flying just over our heads. Try to go around his outside on the next lap. Lap two of three now, halfway into the race. Doesn't work out. And this bloody helicopter driver's back for more. Absolute mental case, that guy. Go flying the inside, sensational move. He just could not do anything about it, and he's just raging out right now. He's so unhappy. But then next corner, I'm, I'm straight off. Keep uh, forgetting there's a corner there should probably know that by now and then uh, we come up the inside here in what can only be described as a fairly s strong move and he actually gets a penalty for running wide has to, has to back out of it and uh, that cemented our victory and our place in the motorsport hall of fame as we come across the line there to win absolutely sensational stuff I think the motorsport fraternity we were talking about that one for years to come this guy goes for a nice little drift and uh, how about this guy well there's a corner there mate although to be fair i, I went wide on that one as well anyway we move on and it's a formula b race so like formula 2 if you like but it's at monza the cathedral of chaos is here and we are expecting the worst when we approach this hellhole of a corner there it is, the uh, the centre of the crashing universe, and it's a, it's a full lobby. This is going to be fun. Okay, I'm um, uh, where are we? Fifth out of ninth, out of nine. Okay, this is almost certainly going to end badly. I'm right in the middle of the pack here. Get on the brakes nice and early. I don't get clattered into from behind, which I, I'm puzzled by. And on the exit, this guy's squirming a little bit all over the place. But you got to say, I mean, we've got to describe that as... Wow! I mean, how how do nine people on day one of a new racing game coming out go through Monza without seven of them being upside down? Um, quite, quite unreal scenes you're seeing here. I go clattering over this curb. I suppose that's the reason why. Um... If it's not going to happen at the first chicane, it will happen at the second chicane instead. Uh, so we get the slowdown there. Fair enough, I did go wide. Went all over the kerb. And the kerbs are so awkward on this game. They really do mess you up big time. So uh, I'd say watch out for those. Up behind Space Steve. He's like me, but he's in space. And uh, we go through now a Scari. Cars wide, cars everywhere. And uh, just play patient here. It's quite a close race. Here's a 12 lap race. This, this is one of the the scheduled races which last about 20 minutes usually coming down the back straight towards the famous parabolica are we about to make it infamous from shoddy driving not really up the inside of him and him and now into the toe and uh, slipstream let me tell you does very much work on this game look at this look at the effect it's having on me as we go three abreast this can we make it four? Oh no the other guys come back into play now we're going three abreast still into turn one. Shack the diesel in the lead. Oh, he gets gets all completely out of shape. This is uh, quite horrific to watch. The car's not really 
facing the correct way through turn one. That's a drag race between myself and, and uh, Jojo Reaper. I think I'm going to get get the lead. Space Steve coming back. That was a late block for me. That was pure filth. Into the second chicane. Look at that. Drifting it in. Backing it in mobile game style. And uh, Jojo Reaper comes out on our tail into the Lesmos. Can we get through here? Okay, I've sort of sorted myself out here. And uh, through here, I, as I say that, well, you don't want to touch the curbs. We, uh, we worked that one out. Don't touch curbs, ladies and gentlemen. They really do abuse you hard. Don't abuse the curbs because they'll abuse you. That's the rule. Um, more absolute chaos. Devastating scenes through Ascari as uh, someone gets sent to the Shadow Realm. Right. And uh, we're our buddies, Jojo Reaper and Space Steve once again. And Space Steve, quite um, quite bad on the brakes. Look at that, it just misjudges it, brakes a little bit too early. You can brake very late on this game. You can brake, like, I don't know, maybe in a Formula 1 car, into there, in a normal game. I say normal game, in a sim game, you'd be braking at 150. But in this, you can brake, like, after the 100 board. It's insane, mate. Uh, we win the race, and we're only a casual five seconds quicker than the next car per lap. One minute ahead of the, of second. It was absolute demolition job, mate. Um, okay, we move on to a Porsche 918 Spider race. Well, I'm in that car anyway. And um, we're at the Dubai Autodrome. We also have a highly rated... A highly ranked French ma uh, French man, Frenchman, whatever you want to call him. Um, you can tell because there's a baguette ha uh, hang uh, hanging out the window. Um, this Pagani Zonda out of nowhere. And uh, I'm up the inside, but then I'm off the outside of the circuit, coming back on. And another Zonda out of nowhere. They're just, they're just falling from the sky here in Dubai. I suppose they do. They've got money, haven't they? Just raining Zondas. And this really just gave me, uh, I would say, quite horrific flashbacks, this race, to this. Yeah, the game that shall not be named it actually gave me some horrific memories. But eventually we won that race. And um, I think people are still finding their feet in this game. And um, we got a, we got a question, this Frenchman here. Level 95A, level 8, higher than everyone else. Did he get his license in a cereal packet? Because that was a shocking performance, mate. You need to do yourself more justice there, my friend. Okay, we move on. And this was a good race. Um, once again, do excuse the 18 pixels on the screen. I'm the one in the middle, the Porsche, my name. Uh, the darker coloured one. Going into turn one, I say going in, but we're not really going in at all. We just don't, <laughs> just understeer straight off and take two people with us. Uh, we're at Sugo, I think this is, in Japan. And uh, this is a track I do remember from the other Project Cars games, number one and two, or at least number two, one of them. I can't even remember really, to be honest. And we have our Portuguese friend here, also in the uh, in the Porsche. We have a good battle with this lad. Um, we've got the inappropriately named guy in the McLaren P1 in the lead. We're gonna try and dispatch of him and then pull away again a scheduled race here 14 laps and it's um what's that one minute 30 laps on david up the inside an absolute banzai move and uh, we can say goodbye to him right can we get past this 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 lad into these corners that's really understeer i don't know what i was doing there but oh i, I can see i've got abs off for this race and as soon as you lock up you are going straight on um, my tip would be to turn ABS on. It's actually, I, I think, just a ton quicker on this game. A ton easier. Um, that guy goes off. He almost goes off up the inside. We're all over the curbs. If there's one thing I've worked out, is that curbs are awkward AF, mate. You don't want to touch them too much. Well, it depends on the curb. These flat ones, yeah, abuse the heck out of them. But, you know, the big chunkier ones, they will ruin your life quite quickly. Okay, coming down, let's uh, move it forward a little bit. It's lap three now. It's a good little battle uh, between the two of us because if there's a theme developing, it's 
well, the fact that no one knows what they're doing yet, and the gaps in this game have been massive, you know, been winning races by a minute or 20 seconds or something. Um, so it's good to actually have a close race with someone for once. Uh, so he takes the lead through the final corner, and then we've got the uh, the main straight here as we go up the hill. He goes to the right hand side, he goes defensive. Fair enough, we're going to go to the left hand side, the outside of turn one. Late on the brakes, and he overcooks it. Maybe he's got ABS off as well. And we're back up the inside, lap four. Still 10 to go after this one. It's a long old race. And um, we're into the infield. But is he going to up the inside? Yes, he is, because I drive so wide. Got to really get used to this understeer because you've got to really throw the cars in nice and early to the corners. This it is quite an understeery game, if I must say so myself. Um, I'm driving as consistently as an Ian Bell tweet. Okay, moving on. Lap eight now. You see, he's actually managed to gap me a little bit there, and he slowed down, presumably because he wanted more of a race. And I almost felt insulted by that. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not having um, a charitable um, win here. I want to just race you normally. Thank you. He uh, he overcooks it here, slows it down. I'm pretty sure that was to let me through. Um, but okay, we'll just take it this time. Um, right, lap 13 now. Lap 13 is actually quite a close battle between the two of us, um, albeit because he's slowed down to let me through but, um, but still it is quite close artificially close but close is close right into the final corner overcooking it on the brakes once again we're going to cover him off on the inside and we can't quite go on the power as early as we'd like he's, he's, he's really got that traction nailed doesn't he this lad into the slipstream then final lap is about to begin we're going to hold him narrow here push him into a mistake is he going to do it again yes he is David and Overcook in turn one. Name a more iconic duo. Pro tip, you can't, it doesn't exist, mate. So we're in the lead. We've got a crucial one second gap. Can we hold it from here to the end? That's the big question on the lips of every motorsport fan around the world. As we, oh, look at that, awkward all over the curb. It's horrific, it looks awful when you do that. You don't want to be getting sideways over the curbs. That is, a death warrant, signing your own death warrant there. Okay, on the exit of this turn, onto the back straight. He's right on us. And we can fast forward here because we managed to hold on and win the race. It was a good battle, actually. Good battle. So I commend this Portuguese lad, this guy just spinning off. Um, that's not how you race, mate. You're supposed to, yeah, the, yeah that's it. Stay on the, stay on the uh, black stuff there. We might do a bit better. Okay, we move to Cadwell Park. Let's do it. Let's see how we fare in some slower cars now. The Renault Megane. Um, I, don't know the, I don't know what class this is, but a slower class. And the big thing, the big obstacle here, if you thought Monza Turn 1 was bad, just wait till you see this first corner. It's basically a full on 180 as we go flying in. And yeah, scenes of devastation as to be expected. It was so bad, we can, uh, we can watch it again put some horrible titanic music let's look at those guys go flying off they, did, they obviously didn't pay attention to the map as you should do any good virtual racing driver would be paying attention to the map at least if they don't know the circuit play it nice and cautious on that one rather than go flying in hoping for the best okay look at this almighty gaggle let's see what we can do then try and fight our way through this pack here at Cadwell Park and um, I've got to say that this race, or, or sorry, this game online, I've, I had fun with it. I mean, it's kind of a silly, mindless fun. I wouldn't take it too seriously, this game, but I still had fun nevertheless. Fun is fun, isn't it? Um, it's almost like half of the time you're laughing with the game and half the time you're laughing at it. But as long as you're laughing, then it doesn't matter, does it? Um, down the hill... Uh, through that chicane, yeah, it was horrific. Again, the curb did us did us nasty there. We bounced off the wrong direction onto the grass. Um, now we're coming up to the the hairpin of death on the brakes, and we're just going to get kind of loaded wide. Thank you very much, mate. Big of 
Big Levent 1981. And you've got to just check this out because he went for it again. But um, he overcooked it and he's up the inside. Do you honestly think you're f***ing funny? You annoy people and put them on YouTube because you're a c Absolutely shameful attempt. Shameful Rammers Project Cars 3 edition right there. Um, and he missed. Anyway, we finished third in that race. But we move on to this race. Watkins Glen back in the Formula Cars. And this is a scene you don't want to see on lap one. Right here. Four abreast. Four abreast. And this can only end horrifically, surely. But no. Look at that. Somehow, to take the lead of that group. So in third. And I don't know what they've done. But there's something about the crash physics which mean that you, you don't really crash. You don't tangle with each other. You kind of just... I don't know. You kind of just rub off each other and continue. If that doesn't sound too inappropriate. It's kind of weird. Well, is it weird? I don't know. It's just the way that the game is. You just don't really get into big pileups. Um, because obviously if the physics were a little bit different, like Forza sticky car physics, then, well, we'd be in trouble, wouldn't we? Uh, we caught up with this guy, Focus Top 10. And uh, he is obviously focused because he is inside the top 10. He's now top inside the top two into turn one can you do the eye racing line from driving very wide uh, oh no you can't and i think the other guy did the same because he slowed down just as much um a little bit later on the race he's still half a second behind you can see on the radar very very close as uh, we come through this left hander down the hill and he makes a mistake there because he, he drops immediately down to like two seconds behind so he just couldn't handle the pace of the uh, Super GT for that for that turn, uh, come through to to win. Nice stuff. Get in there. Um, you can see the time gaps there. You know most cars 12, 20 seconds behind after three laps. It's only a four minute race. The gaps are a little bit too big, if I must say so, myself. But um, it is early days yet. People still working out how the hell to to drive this game. And. I don't know if they're on a wheel or what. I don't know what people are doing, but there you go. That's the way it is. We uh, jump over to Catalonia in Espanol. Um, let's see how this one goes. I went for the Jaguar. I'm uh, keeping it, keeping it British to do my country proud here around Spain. Now let's see. There's this uh, Ferrari, the Ferrari, running me out, and uh, we're going to come into here. And it's going to be Hamilton versus Rosberg esque as I'm on the grass. And uh, he eventually drives a little bit wide. Up the inside we go. See you later. Absolute dispatch that lad. Into turn number five. Look at this. And just carry the just carry the speed in. Absolutely nailed it. Perfection. Doesn't look doesn't look all that pretty, but it got the job done. A little bit later, up behind uh, this McLaren. And we get past towards the hairpin I'm dreading this we go in and uh, it's all kicking off tidy little cutback on the McLaren the Ferrari drifting wide we've got two positions up behind this dude in um, oh, I forget the name of that car you're going to have to remind me in the comments guy um, is, is it Zembo? you can see he's got the straight line speed which I just don't have surprisingly because I'm in Jaguar XJ220 which is an absolute beast so that thing is an absolute double beast I guess I'm going to try and uh, what we're going to try and do here we're going to try and go for the cutback absolutely sensational they're going to be showing that one in textbooks in race, racing textbooks in many years to come I'll be learning about that one and again taking that nice early apex as you do through turn 4 Catalina and drifting it wide into turn 5 Oh, we've got it hooked up. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, we're pulling away, are we? No, we're not. Drifting it a little bit too much, and that's what you've got to avoid in this game. Um, very easy to get the car sideways, but you just don't really want to do it too much. And into the hairpin. I covered him off, went way too narrow. And uh, we see the result of that. Drifting too wide, he comes back through actual close race here we have a close race all f far too rare in our experience thus far and uh, he goes a little bit too wide here going to clatter the curb up the inside and take the lead resume the lead 
into the horrific chicane. Okay, nothing I can do about a straight line speed here into turn one. He breaks quite early, I break quite early. But we just sweep around the outside again on the brakes, and I think people are still getting used to the brakes because of how, uh, how late. Uh, I was going to say how loud you can break, how, how late you can break. There we go. Um, just rounding out this race then. I just want to say massive thank you for making it this far. Um, I've updated the outro of the video. So any Patreon members in the last four months, um, your names are all included. So if, even if you were like a member in June, but then took membership away, then you'll, you'll still be there because I haven't updated it since June. But thank you so much to all the support. Everyone, thank you for watching it. Thank you, thank you for making it this far. Thank you for supporting the channel. All good fun. So a bit of a mixed bag, really, Project Cars 3 multiplayer. Um, there is some fun to be had. It does still leave me with a slightly hollow, empty feeling inside. There was some fun to be had, for sure, but it's certainly not going to go down in the racing game, video game hall of fame, is it? But let me know your thoughts. I'd like to know your thoughts. But that's all from me. Take care, as always. Thank you for watching. Have a nice, safe day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.